good afternoon everyone in today's presentation on contemporary western theories in and film studies i'm going to read the gauri shinde's film english english in today's paper we will go with the introduction of the movie study of few slaves from the movie feminist perspectives in the movie and the uh, and language nationalism and the homosexuality which are as a minor discussion in the movie beginning with the introduction english english is a 2012 bollywood film uh, it is a comedy drama and written and directed by gauri shinde this movie was a, de a, de a debutant as a director for uh, gauri the star is a shri devi and uh, she came in this movie after the 15 years uh, after the uh, last movie she did was judai and she is working as a small entrepreneur in and making snacks shashi andro the, the name of shri devi in the movie is shashi and her husband is satish uh, she enrolls in an uh, english speaking course to stop her husband and daughter mocking her lack of english skills and gains self respect in the process uh, this uh, for this movie shinde was inspired uh, by her own mother Uh, we will begin with the study of slaves what uh, we know that camera speaks more than what uh, speaks more uh, through its movement when we are reading any literary uh, work or any story three lines like uh, is used to describe the scenario or the situation that there is a tree it is a sunset time these people are there this is happening someone is waking up someone is sleeping as uh, words and sentences are used while in the movies or any shoot a movie short film or any documentary a camera speaks uh, speaks more so i am comparing few uh, slates in from the movie uh, which are repeated so here the very first uh, frame where the uh, where the protagonist is tying hair is when she is waking up in a, uh, waking up and doing uh, and is ready to do a household work for the family members and she is tying her hair is like a symbol it can be read as a symbol that she is tying her desires and admires and going to work for the family members while the ne next scene while in the, the slate which is below the first slate is about is when the protagonist was in the new york and she was there it was she was alone there without family members and the morning she, which she is getting is fresh her hairs are open she is waking up and on that in on that day she is waking up for herself she is happy because she was going to go for an english learning class the next is, uh, slate on the right hand side the protagonist is reading a hindi newspaper she is getting two pap papers at home newspapers english and hindi and she is reading hindi well when she went to new york she got a desire that she should learn english so that others don't make her feel inferior and others are her own family members and in the next uh, next screen she is reading newspaper that is english newspaper and spending time with herself because she is alone no there is no one for whom he ha she has to take care of these are the frames uh, uh, the frame of adapting a new culture in the first frame is of a movie which movie uh when when the protagonist is visiting a cinema to watch a movie she is seeing this scene where the hero, english movie they are going for a english movie and the uh, uh, heroine in the movie is dressing herself with a coat and the very next day in a so uh, song as she is adapting a new english culture she is also dressing herself with a coat and is trying to adapt a culture of new york surrounding uh, what she is watching and the next on the right hand side we see that the husband and wife are in the mall they went for a shopping there we, uh, we are studying camera angles we see that when a woman is talking the camera is from the uh, shoulder is from angle is angled on the shoulder of a husband that is he is standing in a upper position and so the protagonist female protagonist has to see upwards in upper direction which is shows that she is inferior and to whom she is talking is superior to her 
and uh, uh, look vice versa with the protagonist male protagonist we are seeing that when she he is replying he is looking down in a downward direction camera angle is from uh, is a, in a lower direction which shows that he is talking to someone who is uh, inferior to him then here uh, the first screen about slate about asymmetry we see that uh, female protagonist and the person with a tie that is a uh, who is standing indian person is uh, are in same symmetry in same height and the other who is a white skinned person is in another symmetry which shows that, that he is opposing the idea which is shared by this two person and another is uh, the high angle long shot is about how in this new york a uh, place like new york which is uh, which has a, uh, such a long and heightened buildings the protagonist is trying hard to have that culture but in this long long place you will always be a a smaller uh, subject or an element which cannot run so fast as the new york is running here is a montage scene in the movie uh, you will not get a voice but just as an example that how this a uh, montage scene is the protagonist is for the first time going in the new york on a for foreign land for the first time that to alone having the flight alone in spite she is not knowing an english language she is feeling a lot of inferiority talk to white men and looking at the white men but when she goes there uh, she uh, she meets uh, her relatives and how they are in, uh, introducing or uh, going in a new york that is a manhattan city and the whole how their their roaming in the manhattan city is uh, shown through the montage scene so now in the movie we will look at the feminist perspective this is one of the uh, can be considered to be one of the progressive movie where the first uh, the lead role is done by a female and as we have discussed as my yesterday's presentation also said about the idea of simone de bua in the second sex that situations and character of a woman depends on the situations created by the man it is not her own choice or her faults or her follies and this is seen in this movie also that the lack of technical training like men and do not deal with practical matters exposure and experience which is reinforced by the women's household activities that uh, and because the female protagonist was not getting exposure in spite she was having a small business which she was running being at home but uh, in the movie we see so various times that a husband is making him making her feel inferior uh, that tum laddu banane ke liye hi paida hui ho meri biwi laddu banane ke liye paida hue such type of dialogues are seen from the husband's uh, husband's uh, character which shows that Uh, we see that domestic violence is not only which is done physically emotionally and psychologically also there is a domestic violence which is seen in this movie firstly there is no financial inequality between equality between them she is earning but not as her, her husband is so her work is not valued by husband or family members her cooking is appreciated but the earning and is not appreciated and uh, it now and then she is belittled by the family members even by his children uh, the shashi conf uh, shashi confirmed to society satish and shashi confirmed to the society's expected gender roles they are, can be considered as the perfect gender roles which we see in the society manan has said that the feminist perspective reorganizes that the hierarchical organizing of the world around gender is a key of maintaining social order that to leave lives marked male and female is to leave different realities in this movie we see variety of binaries like male and female masculinity and femininity inferiority versus superiority Shashi has a right traditional approach to modernity, and it never eclipses over Indianness or Western moral. In the movie, we will see that she is going to New York and trying to adapt a new English culture, but yet she will not leave her Indianness. She is wearing a sari 
throughout the movie and there is mangal sutra always in his always with her she is not leaving the indianness which she is having shashi is breaking coming out from the cage of that ideal women ideal mother and ideal wife in the movie there comes a situation where she is having her classes and her family came to new york for to surprise her she was not surprised she was shocked cause all her freedom was going to be uh, stopped or banned then he she lied and went to the classes and in that in that duration her child got hurt <coughs> and everyone like her husband blamed uh, to shashi that is th- is this the way or this is an ideal women she is breaking the cage but somewhere she is feel- feeling guilty about it this movie is also giving a new modern modern indian women to the society here the question is pivaki asking that the essay of spivak that can the subaltern speak gives a sentence white men are saving brown women from brown men <coughs> in this movie also uh, shashi is get uh, having a friend lauren from french from france and they meet in an english class here he is now and then uh, forcing or in a way helping um shashi to grow for herself he is appreciating her and that appreciation was never uh, received by shashi before by family members or by chir- any of the relatives and so this is helping her to grow so in a way the white man came to save a brown woman so that she can grow and doesn't get caged here in the movie we see that uh, uh, that laurent and sashi are sometimes talking in their own native language uh, uh, french uh, he is speaking in french and sashi will be speaking in hindi they are communicating but in their native language they are not understanding but they are enjoying their uh, conversation that at least their feelings are relieved in spite her husband and they share the same language hindi they don't communicate and the question on the institution of marriage is raised that where is equality and where is that conformity in in between both both of them here the la- question of language we know uh, here we feel that the the, uh, the movie is making pun on english language but it is also in a way showing both the uh, side of the coins that english is necessary if one wants to communicate all over the world the class of english is also um, showing the university uh, sorry uh, showing unity in diversity we see that uh, all the classmates are from various like uh, someone is from africa someone is from uh, french bengali and variety of people are there who are there to learn english because they want to earn in new york in manhattan here we see that when our professor is teaching them english uh, they are asking such a questions that which we we also feel that english is such a complex question, uh, language when they were learning vowels and the, uh, sir taught them that a e i o u and you will use a and n then the question the lady with name eva said that n eva that it becomes difficult to for the non english uh, people to understand such a complex language uh, then uh, uh, yes the importance is also seen and the songs it has about a manhattan song is there in this uh, movie which is uh, with uh, and the in a way it is using a english language they are converting manhattan as a man as admi hat as topi and ten uh, ten means what we get due to sun rays and they are using uh, like admi topi wo dhup ki chha and this with a song is written which can be also said as a fun made of an english language and in the title itself it is english winglish we are uh, we generally use the um, in our native language cha ba pi vi che and the same way english winglish in even the title song is having coffee waffy sugar sugar wugar paper vapor news views and where the english is made, made fun of and given a pun like use english and trying to involve our native language and trying to make english as our own language 
the movie is going in a full circle which began that when a protagonist sashi was not able to speak a word jazz instead of jazz she spoke jazz and it 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 uh, it was like chas and her child and her uh, uh, her husband himself was making his her fun and from that moment to the end of the movie when uh, shashi is giving a beautiful speech on the marriage wedding ceremony of uh, her nephew then as uh, looking at the theme of nationalism uh, when shashi is going uh, for uh, uh, going to have a ticket at the airport and a white or a visa i forgot and the white man is asking about how are you going to manage in your country if you don't know english and here to uh, just to balance between it seems like the director doesn't want to uh, make india or hindi language feel inferior and so he is trying to balance between these two things and the another indian employee comes and says that like you are managing in our country without hindi and the, also in the when they are learning vowels so she is asking the question that why we are not using the india and we are using the usa it is an obvious answer in this but through this dialogue they are trying to show that india is not an inferior in co comparison to usa or any english language uh, mostly in the lang in that class of uh, uh, english we see that mostly the students belong to the colonies like uh, a mexican nanny that was eva then pakistani cab driver then chinese hair hairstylist a tamil software engineer and african caribbean man and of uh, laurent from the france it seems like the colonies and here also we see the binary of inferior and superior the colonies are inferior and they need to learn it seems a binary in the class that colonies who were colonized uh, are inferior and they need to learn something from superior who were colonizing them and so they are learning from a white skinned david fisher who is their instructor and the all the classmates are inferior to them another theme which is seen is of homosexuality in uh, it is of about 2 minutes of scene there is nothing more about it uh, their instructor is a gay and that was not known by everyone one of the classmates came to know and they were discussing that that david had a break up with uh, his partner and then someone commented that wo uh, gay mein chalta rehta hai ye nahi to wo means uh, making fun of the homosexuality in that time sashi our protagonist says that hum sab alag hai tumhare liye david sir normal nahi hai shayad david sir ke liye tum normal nahi ho magar dil to dil hai dard to dard hi hai and through this they were tr uh, trying to handle homosexuality very sensibly and in a way uh, indicating that this change is necessary in the society and uh, and when this dialogue came from sashi and uh, that uh, caribbean person got who was not speaking anything in the class got a power came forward and uh, he accept, accepted his homosexuality between them uh, one thing i would one thing i would like to add that which we discussed yesterday also about that nri films and interracial films that even today in 2012 we are going for an interracial film, films for liberation of women for liberation of the women might white men is needed and they need to go outside of the india then only they can grow as sashi is growing uh, growing after going to new york in india she was binded with all the loads of family and work of family members in the conclusion i would like to say that english winglish has bought a great glimpse of a new indian women and it is bringing it is like a slice of our life as we are having our own life seeing that it has layers of layers of emotions and message it is a part of a progressive bollywood movie which is not only trying to bring a feminist perspective but also the topics like nationalism and homosexuality these are my works cited thank you
Jill, can you say that uh, with the help of film studies tools, we can read the main idea of uh, any movie or film? Okay, reading uh, as we are uh, as we know that a uh, film are to, has a purpose of entertainment. They are not uh, for a uh, reading purpose, but we are doing so, and for that what we uh, uh, film is always going in a one flow and it always tries to give us one message as in this film we see that uh, it was going on the path of feminism but there are certain minor minor uh, themes also in the movies which can be read only with uh, if we know those theories today we are uh, very much uh, told that we know the theory of homosexuality, LGBTQ, we know the theory of nationalism and how it is boosted in our mind. So we can see that. And so if we want to see more than any more, what more than what film is saying or trying to tell, we need to have more concepts in us and to watch a movie with more focus as we are studying any material. My question is that what does the movie English to English teach? In a way, I have uh, I have tried to go through the themes and study the film through the frames. Uh, like we as we begin with the frames talk more than the words are telling. And so we begin with the study of the frames. And if we go for the learning we, which we can get from English to English is like Sometimes we don't know whether we are helping a person or we are making that person feel inferior. Uh, for an example, if someone who is physically disabled is going on a wheelchair and we with a good, uh, like good in, uh, in our heart, we feel like we should help because they are needy and we help them. But perhaps for that physically disabled person, it would be like, uh, I don't need anyone's help. I am capable enough. And if we help, it might feel, make him feel inferior. The same learning what I get from this film is when we try to help someone, they might get feel inferior because Sashi, here now, sorry, uh, Sashi's husband, now and then was trying to uh, have a cover over Sashi that he, she don't know English, talk in Hindi, or sometimes we will see that someone is talking at, in, in English and she, uh, that her husband is trying to translate the English in Hindi and do that guspos in to Sashi, which was not liked by Sashi. She was feeling inferior now and then. So this is all what I learned from this movie. And everyone gets their own message on their own reading. That's what I think. Thank you. <laughs>